Does your institution use PowerSchool as its SIS? And does it also use Schoology as its LMS? And do you have to be able to sync your grades from Schoology over to PowerSchool? Well, if that's the situation you're in, this video may be for you. I'm gonna walk you through how to set up your PowerTeacher Pro gradebook and your Schoology gradebook so that the settings are correct, so that syncing can happen between both gradebooks automatically. So let's jump in and start at PowerTeacher Pro gradebook. Our first step is to make sure our PowerTeacher Pro gradebook is set up correctly. So we're gonna navigate there first. You're gonna log in using your institution's credentials as a teacher. Once there, you're gonna find PowerTeacher Pro associated with the correct class that you're wanting to set up. I'm gonna start off with English 11 and I'll click on PowerTeacher Pro. There are two things we need to make sure we set up correctly in PowerTeacher Pro. The first of which are the categories. Those are things like tests, quizzes, etc. However, you break those up for your classroom. So you wanna to navigate to grading, and then you wanna click on categories. When the page loads, you may notice there are several categories already there. These might be categories you've already created in the past, or they're created, categories created by your institution. For example, if you see this little icon with a school, that means the institution or your school has already created those for you to use. But if you'd like to add your own, you're capable of doing that. If you go up in the corner and you click the plus sign and click category, you give it a name. For instance, I want a category called labs. And you can give it a color just to help identify it easier. Make sure it's active and you can choose to give it a description. This is for your benefit. You can decide which classes to associate it with and you would click save. And so now I have this new category that I've created. So go ahead and make sure you create all the categories you need or make sure that the categories you need already exist. Now that you have all your categories created, the next thing you have to decide is, are you grading your class based on total points or on category weighting? You now need to go to settings and traditional grade calculations. This is gonna take you to the place where you can set up how should it calculate the grades for your classes. So for example, our school uses a term-based system. We have three trimesters throughout the course of the year. A lot of uh, other schools tend to do a semester-based system, or they might enter grades by quarters. A lot of our teachers tend to use total points, but some teachers like to weight their category. If you are setting up for category weighting, you need to make sure you adjust each of your semesters or terms. If term one were done by category weighting, I need to change it by clicking the pencil. I need to make sure that I go from total points to category weighting. I'll click that. Then I need to pick the category that I'm going to use. So for example, I want homework to be worth 10% of the grade. And so I'd write in that 10. Then I would need to add the next category by clicking the plus, change it from total points to category weighting. Click, for example, I want projects to be 60%. Then I needed to add my next category. I would again, switch it to category weighting Now you'll notice that my homework is 10% of the grade, overall grade, project is 60% of my overall grade, tests are 20%, and classwork are 10%. And then I would hit save to change that grading. And now you'll notice term one is set to category weighting, and I would need to make sure I do that for each of my terms. Or if you're at a school that uses semesters or quarters, make sure you set it for each one. Now, if you have multiple classes, Make sure you go to your other classes. You'll notice there's some drop-down menus and make sure you set those classes as well while you're here. Now you've created categories and then you've set whether you're going to grade by total points or if you're gonna grade by category weightings, you've set what those weights are for each of the categories. Once you've established those two pieces, the next step is for us to head on over to Schoology and set up our gradebook there. Now that we've gone through all the steps to set up our PowerTeacher Pro gradebook, we wanna make sure that we now mimic those settings in the Schoology gradebook. And once here, find the class that you wanna set up. So I'm gonna to go to my English 11. Once it loads, the first place we're gonna to go to is our grade setup. So go ahead and click on that. You'll notice there's a whole lot of different settings and we're gonna work our way through several of these. Our first step though, is to make sure we create our categories. So just like you did in PowerTeacher Pro, you're also gonna to need to create your same categories here. In order to do that, you'll notice at the top it says categories, you'll click add. 
One of my categories was homework. I would always recommend you set total points. Even if you weight your categories, when you're creating a category, when it says calculated by, that's still total points. And I'm not going to drop the lowest for any of my categories. And I'll hit create. And now you'll see I've got my homework category created for me. Now I need to create the other ones. I had homework. I had project. Again, total points, not dropping the lowest. Now I have all the same categories that I created in Power Teacher Pro. So at this stage, once you have your categories, if you're just using total points, you're done with the category settings. However, if you weight your categories, we need to do another step. You want to make sure you check that box. Now we need to set the weights, just like we did in Power Teacher Pro. So make sure you've checked the weight categories if you wait, and make sure you set the weights the exact same as you did in Power Teacher Pro. They must match. Otherwise, you're gonna get incorrect calculations. So now we've created our categories, and we've set our weights if we weight our categories. If you use total points, you just don't need to have that checked. At our school specifically, it should look like this when your class is set up. If it's a year long course, you'll see the whole year at the top and then each trimester. And you'll notice that each trimester is 33.33% of their overall grade. If you are teaching a term length, you're probably only going to see trimester one, two, or three for our school. For gradebook scale, keep it at numeric. And I do recommend checking the little box that says the round period for final grades. Power Teacher Pro rounds it as well, so this way you get similar looking data. These other settings are ones that you can kind of look at and experiment with for your purposes of viewing grades, as well as the student's purposes for viewing grades, and you can decide what you like better. Just take a look at each of those and see what works best. So we have our category set, we have the weights set if we wait, we have our gradebook set to numeric, and we've rounded our grades as well. So we're going to save those changes. Once saved, the next step is to go to your left-hand menu and find Power School and click on that. Once it fully loads, we then want to click on the Configuration button. There are two things that we want to make sure are set up correctly here. The first, go ahead and check that little checkbox. The second is to make sure our Schoology categories that we just created match our Power School categories. So I will click Classwork because the Power School one is classwork. This one's homework, so I'll set homework. This one's project, I'll set project. I didn't use quiz, but I did use test. And so I just leave this one blank because I didn't actually use this one. And then I will hit save changes. You'll know when it's successful when you see this green bar at the top. Once that's complete, now let's take a look at our gradebook. So if you go to the left-hand menu and click gradebook, You'll see a listing of your students. Of course, once you start creating assignments, you'll see the assignments up, pop up here. As you enter grades, click that button so that data goes over to PowerSchool. As you create assignments in Schoology, there are some things you just need to make note of. First of all, of course, you would give it a name and a description. You must have a due date, and the due date needs to be within the term that you're currently working in. So make sure there is a clear due date. Make sure you've used a category that you also set up in both Schoology and Power Teacher Pro. Make sure that it's going into the correct period, meaning which, which grading terms, in this case, trimester one, two, or three. Make sure you do not use the factoring feature. If you factor an assignment's grade, it will not properly sync to Power Teacher Pro. Make sure your sync to SIS is there because we want it to go to Power Teacher Pro. Here you can choose if you're using numeric or a rubric grading for the assignment, and then you would click Create. So make sure you keep track of each of those settings, the key being a due date, correct period, grading period, and do not change or use the factor function here because it will not sync over to Power Teacher Pro. So now you've walked through setting up your Power Teacher Pro gradebook and your Schoology gradebook so they sync. Be looking for another video on how to be able to troubleshoot any potential syncing problems that might exist or incorrect calculations between the two gradebooks. Thank you.